Hi everyone, my name's Jesse and I have many skills. And I'm Elle. Hello. And we're back with the stunning conclusion of the park. Da da. I forgot to turn this back down. <laughs> At least, I think the conclusion, like... We're about to go hunt a witch. Because she has her callum. Callum? She has our son. Have you seen my son? Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. You? How do you know that? I asked him. Demanded really to know where he got the marks, but he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. I think this is the way we go. He's been changing too. Sure. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. Are you eyes. saying your kid's possessed now? I catch him staring at me at odd moments. Dude. In the night. He tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. Then why are your fingers by his wants mouth? To talk to me. He wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him. In you sleep, sound like a crazy woman. Him. You have clearly given your baby kid away from me. the crazy. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. You are a weirdo. You were right there with her for a second. I mean, it just seems funny when kids get hit. The whole town was shocked by that one. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour didn't. taste in Parkgoer's mouth. Oh. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed the remains appear to be those of a child. God, is Callum dead? The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tucking at something and just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic City Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on the story going forward. That's fucked up. Anyway. whack a jack Do you hear that? Yeah. Sound like I was coming from over here. Is this where the corpse was? Yes. Corpsey, corpsey, corpsey. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no corpse here. Oh no. I was really looking forward to the corpse. <laughs> the shop is closed. Um. I can help you, Callum. Run away. The witch put me in the oven. Run away, Callum. Run away from mommy. I am a scary woman. <laughs> Things are about to get just a little bit weird. Okay. Oh. Because they weren't already. Yes. There's the cotton candy. Yeah, we did go behind it and there was nothing there, so... I guess they cleaned up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just enough to get, like, the... Oh, there's cotton candy. There's blood splatter. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, Callum, we found you. I don't wanna. Ah, do it, little oh, bastard. I did this to him. Look up. Is the clown still there? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Jesus! Fucking Chad. <laughs> You, Chad. Jump scares. Not crazy about chipmunks either. <laughs> you don't like anything small. Pickled punks. Pickled punks? Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, it's a sideshow oddity thing. Alright. Um. I 
Yes, we found the magic behind that. This is where we came in. Is there anything else? Cat, your feet are cold. <laughs> <laughs> Did she put them on you? Uh, yes. So I think this is where we came in. Is it? Okay. Yeah, because we came in and we were looking at the teddy bears. Okay. And we went over by the cotton candy, so we need to go to the left. We need to go straight through there if we can, but if we can't... I mean, it's shut. It doesn't look promising. So then we keep going around to the left. Okay, no, that's that was the, the roller way we coaster. Came. All right, never mind then. Sorry, I was incorrect. I was also incorrect. It's fine. Okay, now oh. I will take pills. These are mine. Damn. Done. Done. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Here's the boogie. Oh, she had a serious drug problem, didn't she? Their mother, not safe. Fuck gravity. Uh. Something, but his daughter's hot? I can taste your dreams. Hey, that's the thing we saw. Your mother? Say so no to graffiti. Graffiti. Oh, wait, was that supposed to be graffiti? No, it's gravity. No, it is gravity. Stop. Picking your nose, then. <laughs> okay. We can't. Hey, Chipmunk! Go- Well, wait, There, there's Dan. To the left. Right. That way. See, there's Chipmunk friend. There's Dan friend. Let's go talk to him. Try talk to him again? Uh, no. I think that means we can't go that way just yet. Let's see what the corpse looks like on acid. The same. Yeah, just about. Is that a pile of teddy bears? Yes. Fly away, teddy bears. Wait, what's over here? Still alive. Don't touch me. Hey, there they come. Kellum. Forgive There's, me, Kellum. Oh, I read that. I'm on drugs. Pickled punks. Now we can go through this exit. Apparently we've oh. slashed our wrists. Oh, no. <gasps> Did we kill ourselves and now we're in limbo? Okay. This game is completely different than what I expected. Like, I thought it was gonna be some spooky game in an amusement park. Not like... Suicide? Yeah, you're a drug addict mom who hates her kid. The park is a collage of contradictions. And now you're just talking and everything's fine again. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. She has a point. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass to do Chinese teddy mm -hmm. bears. That's the last while thing we need to do. Carney pockets your hard earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. What about the algae? Of the witch looms over it all. Is there algae in a lake? Despised a toothy grin and warty nose. Yes. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. How do I flashlight? <gasps> no. Callum, we got a full loading screen. I don't know what to do. Got our flashlights on. This isn't scary at all. Hmm. Friend! Friend? Oh, that guy? Yeah. Ah! Done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk, town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small-minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I'm not beaten. I sent my wife and son back to Boston and retreated here to the House of Horrors. 
I must think. Oh, good. So somebody lives here. Nathaniel Winter? Hey, wait. Look at the... that. This? That must be Nathaniel Winter, and that looks like... The Babadook? Babadook. Look at the mirrors. Oh. We are not attractive. Our God. Are glowing. Look. I don't think we're, like, real. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna fight a thing. <laughs> This is a... Okay. Friend? I wonder oh, if there's papers like... to the... Yeah, I got it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it won't let us read them. I wonder if it's supposed to be like, uh... What was the labyrinth? What was in it? The... Is it a satyr? Yes. That's supposed to be like that. Nope. I can't, I can't run. I can't. Oh. Ah, ah, it's like the exterminator. Stop. Look, Shadow Friend. I'm a duck, a duck. <laughs> um. Get, okay, there's stairs, so. What are these things fighting? Is that it? No, it's a light. Dreams. <laughs> fighting dreams. Can you taste your dreams? <laughs> what did it taste like? Ah! Oh. Fuck. This way looks... Should, or should we look back here? I Whatever way you want to go. I can barely keep track of where we've been because you keep spinning around all fast. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at computer controls. Let's go down here. <laughs> okay. We can't run in the house, apparently. We have manners. Eh. Any, any more pills for me to take? Apparently off my rocker. And I hear things. I hate when they have rooms that mean nothing. Except, you know, creepy chairs. That would have startled me if you hadn't jumped so much. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. Yeah, read page. Incidents, I cannot dismiss them as random chance. Park works, something's interfering with its intended function. It's as though the very air in the place is corrupting the power even as I collect it. A few ca casualties here and there are acceptable. What? When employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. Rather not have the boys in blue, either kind, investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. Nah. Steve. Damn it, Steve. Wait, is that blood on the ground? No, nope. I think so. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend it's not blood, because... Is this the way we came? I have no idea. Okay. No, it's not. Hmm. <laughs> Must see. be Steve. Nah. <laughs> <I'm> Steve! <laughs> yeah? What? Clown thing. Friend. Nathan. Nathan. 
Need? Needy pie. Need a pie, honey pie. Dare to do need a pie. How was that? Nathan. He wasn't that great. <laughs> Nathan great. Okay, door can't open. But you Nope. Oh yes. Oh, this looks nice. Has he been kidnapping children? Aw. Yeah. Nightmare circus. Circus burns to the ground on open tonight, killing dozens. Owner's put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk, just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Oh, so it's opposite. Put it down. It's like... Maybe after they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. Is this home? I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I wait to our monologue myself over. to Callum, did the yeah. things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. After disconnect notice, multiple attempts to collect payment, regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Do the following. Make a payment, if you believe this is an error, call us, or unable to make a payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. Well, so thank she you. did say that she would read Hansel and Gretel to her kid while they were. A shocking true story. Hunger. True story of the Donners. God, do you remember her name? Group of covered wagons moved to California eight months later, found themselves stranded in the mountains with very little to bite or sup. The greatest tragedies of westward migra uh, yeah, migration world has ever seen. Now our panel of Donner experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive. Never before seen expose write about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. God. Why is this all about cannibalism? Well, I mean, Cancel and Gretel. Is that a C? For Callum? Can you look on the inside of that? No. I was gonna say maybe it's got his name on it somewhere. Maybe. But it didn't examine. Can I? I mean, it's a Rubik's Cube. Whoa! Because I set it down. Yeah, this is totally, like, home. The wilting. You're good at that. I, aren't I, though? <laughs> Solar flares struck the earth. Millions of people were uprooted from their homes. Young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. And I read that as an exotic dancer. Erotic dancer. Same thing. Chance is the key to saving the world. Again. Alright, Chance. It'll save the world. Chance. And then Callum smokes a pack a day. Badass well, I think kid. he might. Shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum. Electricity bill. Fixed faucet. Yeah, we're home. Beat someone over the head with it. I can't take it with me. Can I fix the faucet? This is one hell of a fun house. Why do we live in the basement of a fun house? Because Dan is Nathaniel. Ms. Mailer, we agreed to meeting today. Consider you fully recovered from your illness. 
Letters, official notifications, you are considered sound of mind and body, may return to work at any time. Please note you should discontinue any medication you've been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time you're suffering a relapse, please make contact with your local physician immediately. Alright. No, we're still insane. Lorraine receives your letter and I'm quite surprised. Ran off with your father all those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map. When I finally tracked you down and refused to answer any of my letters. Now you're right asking for help. Another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man and I regret the years that I wasted with him. Loved you. I truly did. But every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. So I wouldn't have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. Broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. Can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine. I just can't do it. One day it will be easier and I can meet Callum. But not yet. Not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again. Karen. Okay, so our mom doesn't want anything to do with us when we ask for help. Mm hmm Wait, what's the wall say? What wall? Um, keep going. Keep, keep turning. What? Oh, it was, it's just a picture. I thought it was words. But look at the picture. We've got a classroom, four kids, and two teachers. Okay. Well, that's, that's a giant... It's a bouncy thing. Yes. See, bouncy thing. That's the correct term. I never played with one. I wouldn't know. Lorraine seems to be suffering depression that began early in her pregnancy. Discussions have made it obvious these episodes stem from grief of losing her partner, Dawn, who died about six months ago. Several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder. Electroconvulsion therapy patient responded made rapid recovery weekly follow-up mood stabilizers um, newborn son Callum placed in foster care shortly after birth when she displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression it's our judgment Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine continues with her medication we have faith she will be an effective caregiver <laughs> Has her own housing and employer. Susie said she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma McCree, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It's with the support network in mind that we feel confident releasing her lane from this institution. Zolift. <laughs> Alright, so we were supposed to be left in the loving care of town. Inquiry into the state of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. Regret to inform you the primary beneficiaries of his estate were listed to Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York, the deceased parents. Agency made contact with them, explained your situation, especially as regards to the birth of his son, Callum. Fortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, consider you ineligible to receive any money from the estate. Ask we no longer contact them regarding this matter. Understand this may have negative impact on your current financial situation. Hope I'm not being too forward when I enclose the bill with our services with this letter. Wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. So nobody would help. Oh good, there's a basement of a basement. Huzzah. Looks like we were just in. Fun house. It's a fun house. lift. Yep. Take twice a day. Things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I'm gonna try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from home and working so hard. Every day working at the park, it gets worse. Like spring inside my mind. Wanting tighter and tighter and tighter. When I go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guy... The guys relax, we laugh, and we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. When the job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore. Love you, Donald. I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl. Aw. Right. It's the electricity. It's the Hunger Games. And we're back in. Oh, there's Zolift again there. Mm hmm. So we're, no, it's still not done. 
It's the most important thing. Is if we finish the Rubik's Cube. Fucking shit. Leave me alone! What? I wanted to call to Callum. Calling to Callum just makes her yell, leave me alone now. This is this is a great development. Do it again. Let's do it again! Once more with feeling. <laughs> There's this teddy bear. Okay, now everything's disheveled. Okay. Oh, good. Good, good. Nobody watered our plants! And the fan! Ha! Ah! Fan. There are bloody handprints on the pictures now. All the pictures look terrifying. The hat's got blood on it now. Oh, we totally killed Callum, didn't we? The Rubik's Cube. She. She. Why her. her? See her try. Her lie. Bye bye. Cry. See her cry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Poor Callum just like wants Teddy to bear love doesn't, his mother. Or thing doesn't have a head anymore. Oh god. We did it in the kitchen? Read shopping list. We are here at the shopping list. Prescription. Tickets to Atlantic Island Park. Stop! <laughs> God. So she just buys alcohol, I guess. There's a... History of Solomon Island. Thank you, William. New watch is very nice. It made me happy. Carrot. Carrot. Okay. Baba Duke. Oh, we don't even have to open the door this time. It's just there. Alright. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes! I'm fine with this, are you? Yeah. Well, read the notice back here. What notice? Um, other side. There. You can't. Oh, okay. Tucked in dead babies. Or it's perfect. Or loft. Yeah. Says the same thing. Um. Shit. Alright. Fans on. Well, good, it needs to be cool in here. Callum is no longer mine, he once was. You are alone, nobody loves you. Why do you read it from top to bottom? <laughs> Don't leave me! Callum, come back. Seriously, kid. Like. Oh, God. It's the ice pick from. Chad. It is. Oh, it's we burned, burned. it. Get out of here! We cooked bait. Oh shit! All right, whatever. Good. It's yes. Turn around. 
I did. I am. I don't think it's gonna work. Well, there were footsteps and now they're gone. Oh, good. the worst house ever. Agree to me to take considering you'd be batshit fucking insane. Let's be clear, you're in no way sound mind and body and you're a danger to everybody around you. Note that your only escape from this should be drugs. Shitload of them. Smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous. Take them any way you can, and as often as you can. That shit can only make your life better. In case there was any doubt, you're suffering a relapse and nobody really cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up. Thank you, doctor. We're suffering a relapse. Of course we are. And nobody can help because we have no money. Carrot. Thank you, Carrot. Okay. He's... To make me see. To make me see. just blood on the walls. Yep. It, the walls are bleeding. Oh. Yeah, you're right. That's normal. Oh, look, it's the family. Oh, God. Alright. Done with this house. I can't run. I can't do anything. But something's chasing me. What have you done with him? Do we care about him again? Okay, so now we're back in the fun house. Loaded. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. The child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch. Yes, you are. But I am. Kids broke in today. Been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh, this boy from the academy. Put him on a slab. Tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. Change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Oh, God, Callum. Show yourself... Callum. Show yourself, Callum. <laughs> it's a book about postpartum depression. It totally is. Or, you know, the blind. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes without sparkle for those suffering from glaucoma. Rude. Hansel and Gretel. Oh, good. I'm glad that the switch for the secret door was in the book. I have to pick it up. Calv. Calv. At their steps, lady. On oh. a slab. Without a shoe on. Calv. Oh yeah, we found the shoe. Oh, yes. Callum. Callum. Chad. Chad. Oh, 
I like his finger. And his droopy lip. Oh, so... It's forming itself as Nathaniel because the park is what took her husband. I think. No? Did we do it? Yeah? Yeah? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. What is happening? I don't know. There's a bee in a Take drug. a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. So did she kill him and now she's reporting him missing? In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Dreamlike state. What the fuck was that?! I'm going to say, yeah, we, we killed the kid and then reported him missing because we're crazy. What? That was a little bit more fucked up than I anticipated. <laughs> So, okay, do you think that, like, we're crazy and, or, like, we were already a little bit messed up because yes. the letter said that her father was kind of messed up and she started to turn more and more into him. Mm-hmm. So, father was a little crazy, ran away with her, um, and then... She was with Dawn, but she... She was with Dawn and liked Dawn, and Dawn worked at the park, and she worked at Susie's diner. And then Dawn... Dawn died. died. She went a little crazy. Her kid got taken away from her, but she was released with a bunch of pills. Because she had electroshock to... therapy mm -hmm. and stuff. And they told her to stop taking her pills. Okay. And she had her kid back, but she was frustrated with him. She was mad at him. She was frustrated because it was a kid. She probably missed Dawn and saw Dawn in him. And... So she was well, negative. No. Uh, yeah, and what I'm saying is that she... Um, obviously, the Babadook was Nathaniel Winter or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and, like... Maybe, like, she blamed the park for all the bad things, so it manifested as... So her sickness, she saw it as Nathaniel Winter. Yeah. Um, because the park, and the park took her kid and her husband. Mm-hmm. In her mind. Yeah, so maybe her son just went missing, and she was trying to find him, and in her messed up Nah, she totally state? killed him. She totally killed him. Well, anyway, that was the park. Yeah. Uh, we hope you enjoyed that. Um, tell us what you think in the comments below, because I'm not exactly sure how I feel right now. Anyway. I don't know. <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.